Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Psychology Network. Today's topic which we would be studying is, uh, I'm quoting exactly from the syllabus, which is the other theories of personality. You can find this in unit 7. I'll just even read out the unit 7. It is personality, motivation, emotion, stress and coping. So these other theories which they have given, they have given two theories under that, which is Rotter's locus of control and your second is Seligman's explanatory styles. I'll be explaining both in this video. We'll start with Julian B. Rotter's locus of control. Now, what Rotter says that the locus of control is how we attribute the actions or the consequences uh, in the world. Either it is towards ourselves or it is towards the other. And she says that internal locus of control and external locus of control is on a continuum so and most healthy individuals most adults fall somewhere in between maybe they are falling sometimes here in some situations here but mostly in between so let's start with internal locus of control now individuals who have internal locus of control they believe that they control their own lives. They control their own lives. The actions they are doing, those are the reasons they are having certain type of outcomes. They are not attributing only success to themselves or only failure to themselves. They are attributing both the positive and the negative events of life to themselves. Now, uh, what can be an example of this? I'll, uh, suppose somebody has come first in the class and the reason he or she is giving is that because she has put in effort, she has put in time for that exam and that is why they have come first in the exam. So that is internal locus of control. Again, for a negative event, if I talk about maybe a tennis match. So if the person loses the tennis match, so he or she is saying that, uh, yeah, you know, maybe I did not put so much effort into this. Uh, I even skipped some of the practice sessions. So that has resulted into uh, me not able to do very well in this match. Now what this is happening, this is giving a motivation, a push to them that maybe the next time they would do better because they can put more time into it. They wouldn't miss the uh, practice sessions and they would do a good, they would do good on their tennis match. Now, this perspective that because of internal locus of control uh, they have, it can result into a better self-efficacy and this uh, tendency that they take the personal responsibility for the outcome, this also increases. And when there is a personal responsibility, they know that they can change the situation uh, through their actions. This is your internal locus of control. Now, external locus of control, individuals with this type of locus of control, they believe it is because of external factors, not them, something other, outward, like luck, fate, other people, okay, by chance. I'll again give you the same two examples. Maybe the person came first in the class. Now, what their explanation could be is that maybe the question paper was easy and the teacher was giving a lot of marks. That is why they have come first. It's not because of them. It's because of something other. Now, the second one, maybe they did not um, do well in the tennis match. They uh, could not score so much. They would say, oh, the grass, I cannot play in the grass. That is why I did not play well or the referee was unfair. That is why we could not. In such situations, what happen when we are putting so much emphasis on external uh, events which, which are uh, directly affecting us, we are giving the sense of agency to external events. And we know that uh, this is because of something else. So I cannot do anything in this. That reduces the personal responsibility. And when there is a reduction of personal responsibility, they feel they cannot do anything to continue uh, or do better in those actions. So they, uh, so they usually have a pessimistic view of the world 
which can be said um not really pessimistic but they are low in self efficacy usually low people who are extremely here uh yes so this was your locus of control then we'll come to martin seligman's explanatory styles uh these also later are called attribution styles so martin seligman in his words explained explanatory style to be the manner in which you habitually explain to yourself yourself why events happen your something has happened you are explaining to yourself how it happens it usually is very uh, unconscious in nature uh, sorry subconscious in nature when you are explaining it's not really like talking to yourself and explaining but the 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 automatic thought which comes into your mind when something happens that is how you are just explaining the events to yourself so there are three first is your personalization this relates to the perception of causality means why did such an outcome happen suppose um using the same example that you came first in the class events are caused due to internal factors or external factors if you came first in the class and you say yes because i studied a lot that's why i came first in the class that is your internal factor when there is an external factor you just say oh that's that's pure luck there was no way i could come first in the class it's because of luck i have come first in the class so that is external factor permanence this is your number second what is it it is relating to the perception of time of the event like either the event could be permanent or temporary uh suppose somebody failed in their semester they failed in the semester and they say oh this is the end of my life i cannot complete my degree i will not be able to become what i want to become everything is finished this is your permanent you feel this is this is this situation is permanent and you will never get out of it and what can the other uh, way be you feel okay yeah i have failed but uh, yes it could be due to some reasons but i would try my best in the next semester whenever the semester i have to clear my exam i'll try my best so that i can pass the exams and do better for myself and i can complete this degree in the stipulated time so you feel that particular situation is temporary it's not permanent you can change that situation so the third comes your pervasiveness Now, pervasiveness is relating to the perception of space of that particular event again uh, if i say i failed in my semester exam somebody will term it as global or somebody will perceive it as global global means that particular negative event is affecting each and every part of my life so the the example was i failed in my test now you feel oh i failed in my test my god uh my parents will stop liking me my boyfriend will leave me or my girlfriend will leave me because i failed in the exam or and then uh, what will the teacher say what will my neighbors say what will my friends say and you feel this this particular one yes this may be a very big thing that you failed in a semester that's true but implying that this would affect each and every part of your life there is no part of your life which would be away from this particular event that means you are attributing it to be global somebody who perceives it as specific they would see it as yes okay yes again i have failed but there are other things in my life too which i can continue doing and i would also continue studying for my better results but you wouldn't feel that this particular event is affecting every other aspect of your life as well so this was your three explanatory styles 
now i have termed you see these are termed in red these are in green so usually these external factors the, the permanence uh, per permanency of the event or global implication are usually seen in the pessimists the green ones which i have marked those are said to be uh, an explanatory style of usually the optimists so optimists see uh, situations as specific temporary and they usually attributed to internal factors so this was all about the other theories which the ugc net syllabus is talking about thank you so much for listening and please like and subscribe to this channel so i can continue making free uh, study materials for everybody